Gonna do something a little different today. This person asks, what defines the term mutant in Marvel? And this is not a complicated question to answer, but the answer is also a little bit confusing at times, and I can add my own personal commentary on the subject, plus talk about a few other things. So sure, let's go over this. I'm gonna be nice and give you the super easy answer just right off the bat. If they have something called an X gene in their genetic code, they are a mutant. That is the only thing that defines mutants in the X-Men sense. The rest of this video is just explaining the nuances and the details, so if you want the easy answer, there you go. First off, mutation is obviously a real thing, and it's also a super common trope in all sorts of media for anything that's been genetically modified, whether that's naturally occurring or artificially induced. Marvel, though, has a weirdly specific definition of the term. In the Marvel Universe, the term mutant, at least in the X-Men context, refers to people that have something called an X gene in their genetic code. Now, X gene is also a pretty generic name, but it is a very specific thing. Now, I'm not going to give you the exact genetic sequencing breakdown of an X gene because, to be honest, I don't really know or care, but all that you need to know is that X genes are defined things. They're all the same or very similar to each other from a sequencing perspective, and functionally, they are just a way for people to get superpowers. Some people just have X genes. The origins of the X gene are a whole different thing, but basically, if you happen to have one in your genetic code, it will most likely activate, probably in a time of great stress, and then you'll have superpowers. Of course, there are more metaphorical applications of the X gene when it comes to writing, like it's usually used as a racism allegory and things like that, but this is about the technical side. Now this is all well and good until you remember that mutation is a real thing, and there are plenty of other Marvel characters that fit the scientific definition of mutant, most notably probably both the Spider-Men. They have both had their DNA altered by external means on a fundamental level. That is part of their genetic sequence now. In certain alternate universes, we see spider powers getting passed on to their kids, so it is part of their bodies. They are mutants, but they don't have an X gene, and so if Marvel called them mutants, that would be confusing. So to clarify this issue, Marvel uses the term mutate, not as a verb, but as a noun. Peter Parker and Miles Morales are mutates. That is the word Marvel uses to describe somebody whose DNA has been modified after their birth. It is not an X gene that is inherent to their genetic code. It happened later, so they're mutates, not mutants. Now, I promised personal commentary at the beginning of this video. Here's the main thing I have to say. Uh, that system isn't very good, in my opinion. I get that Marvel called the mutants mutants because, you know, that was decades ago when they were made, and mutants hadn't become as much of a trope as they are now, but, like, mutant and mutate? Those are very similar words. You couldn't have come up with a slightly different word to distinguish mutates at the very least. Also, there's even more weirdness to this because in some cases people have gained X genes later, like they were not born with it but acquired one, and those people are usually still considered mutants, even though they technically fit the definition of mutant and mutate. It's very weird. Like I said at the beginning of the video, just general rule, if they have an X gene specifically, they are a mutant. And then there are the Inhumans, which are a whole separate thing that complicates stuff even more. They're like mutants, but they're not. I'm not going to bother explaining them now, though, because the Inhumans don't really matter anymore. Sorry to the three remaining Inhumans fans out there. Ultimately, though, the original question does have a pretty simple answer. It's just that the background behind it is dumb, so don't think about it too hard. It'll probably be fine. 